everybody to the Finland National Finals. We uh, have four Finns here fighting for three spots on the Finland National Team. Um, let me put the scoreboard up and then you'll see who's playing. There we go. Got four men here for you. Okay, so we've got Arc, TPVC, Fintops, Kewl, and Stressman uh, playing a three game match here uh, to decide the Finnish national champion as well as the Finnish national team. Only three will make it. Uh, for those of you new to the World Cup format, uh, it's a three game match. You get 10 points for winning, five points for your first bounty, three points for your second bounty, one point for each additional bounty. The three players with the most points at the end of game three. Uh, will be the Finnish national team. The player with the most points in this group after game three will be Finland's national champion for 2023. So we're in grip of the north, uh, home of Finland. The way the bonuses work on grip of the north, for those of you that don't remember it from earlier, uh, you've got a plus three here in... Finland, uh, which Arc TPVC takes appropriately, being the Finland final. This is a plus three here in Northern Europe. Sweden South a plus four. Sweden North a plus five, plus four, and then Norway's a plus five. Iceland's a four. Greenland's a plus three, and then you get a plus two for Scotland or a plus three for Denmark. So that's your map, and we see the early plus three uh, taken by Stressman. See what Kuehl does. Kuehl last in turn order, expected to be the uh, the best player in this group. So we'll see if he can live up to those uh, expectations. Sometimes that pressure can just be daunting, you know. Taking some time to think it through here. Kuehl also will be streaming his perspective, so you guys can check that out on a Kuehl Finn on Twitch. He also posts on YouTube, so make sure to check him out, follow, like, and subscribe what he's doing. I don't know if the Croatians have started over on Johan's stream. Looks like no kills yet in game three of the England final, so they're still uh still going there. Currently, Tim and Blazon are tied at the top of that group. All right, so Kuehl takes the plus three of Denmark, turn one. They're in the bottom center of your screen. It looks like Finn Tops would like uh, Stressman to get out of the Sweden South bonus there. It's going to be tough to do, though. You can take a look a little bit at uh, Grip of the North's info. So to get the 70% run, again, they're playing a 70% progressive game. Uh, they'll have to get all but 13 territories here. Stressman would also like a stack over in Northern Europe. They're going to all have a stack over there, it looks like, maybe to uh, make themselves harder to kill. Stressman with a bonus over on the left makes sense to have that position on the right side to go with it. Q 
Ghoul is going to go ahead and take the Scotland bonus. Uh, get the two bonus with three guards set up. He'll likely move that stack back. My head keeps getting in the way of that. Something like that, sure. You can tell we're watching it from Arc TBV TPVC's perspective because he likes to stay and hit where his bonus is on the map. Okay, Black does go ahead and get the Sweden South plus three or doesn't roll the three. Waits a turn, just, just asked to get that moved out of there. Okay. Black gonna fall behind in troops potentially with getting the late bonus. Okay, Kuhl now getting 8 with his 2 bonuses at the bottom. White's got his 2 bonuses up top. It's now taken Iceland. To go with Greenland. So he's got a plus 7. Arc TPVC getting a plus 3. Does Kuhl roll... No, Kiel's not going to roll in Northern Europe. Northern Europe's going to be split over there. Uh, Kiel's path is better in the center of the board. Ben Top's the only player without a bonus, and we see a break there. Kiel breaks Stressman. Doesn't want him to have the two bonuses. Doesn't like the plus seven. Kiel's is a plus five with his two bonuses. Stressman can't retaliate too much against Kuehl there to break him. So he builds a stack there in Norway. Kuehl's got a 1 here that you can't see behind my head. And a 1 behind the uh, player head down there. There we go. 
So Kewl keeps adding in that bonus of Stressman's. Kill has a slight troop advantage. Fentop's in the most trouble in terms of troops. Arc TPVC has stayed out of it, uh, started making a bit of a bonus run, but kind of gave up on it once that Stressman stack got put in there. So it doesn't look like a bounty's been taken in that last uh, game of England, which is wild. Kind of an epic finish going on there. Ooh, we get an oops from Kewl. Looks like Stressman's finally going to retaliate against Kewl. Going to roll the 7v3 and the 6v1. No, doesn't open up the stack. That's a smart play there. Just takes out the 3. Black has been able to catch back up in troops a little bit, uh, holding the bonus not getting hit here. Fintops adds a big stack between two eights out in Northern Europe. Interesting play there. This is the second trade. So this is the sixth trade from ArcTPVC. Really thinking through the plan here. Gets an easy take of Finn Tops one there, um, and then moves back. Looks like our TP, TPVC is hoping a just full-on war starts between Stressman and Kewl to be able to clean that up. Fintop's able to stay alive long enough to start getting back into a similar troop count as everybody else. Yeah, South Sweden holds wild trunk, right? And all the troops pointed to the south there. With a 17 stuck in between two stacks. Uh, stuck in between there of 
Kuehl and Stressman. Kuehl gets the 10 trade, which is the big trade for these first, uh, the first turn of trades. He's been in a bit of, bit of a battle with Stressman this whole time. He hits the red one, opening up the red stack. Also potentially trying to line up something with red. Fentops was in big trouble early on in this game, able to eventually get the bonus and then hold it. Um, and now gets a 12 trade on three, which will keep him alive and puts him back right in the middle of everybody. What's up, J-Mac? Yeah, J-Mac uh, played really well last night in, your, uh, in our Kill Pete Open match, so congrats to J-Mac. Yeah, um, it didn't go well for me. I didn't guard Australia well enough. Um, I tried to play a super nice game. I got out of your way in Europe, um, but I didn't, I didn't guard well enough early, and I didn't realize that the controller was going to be so desperate at that point. So, um, yeah, J-Mac played a great game. The Europe play uh, for the Kill Pete Open. Yeah, controller is bold. And to be, I mean, in his defense, he didn't have much of a play then. All of the continents had been taken at the at that point in the game. Uh, so he saw it as his only option, which, in my opinion, it wasn't really an option because it was going to immediately eliminate he and I from the game, but... Um, he saw this as only option, so. Yeah, you did. You eventually got the revenge on the controller there. Uh, yeah, he ends up just getting fifth place. Um, so I guess his move basically forced me to be sixth and him fifth. So he, he got himself two points in that sense. So I guess in that sense, if you're playing tournaments with placement points, that's the uh, the move to make. We were just both late in turn order, um, and the other bonuses got picked up real quick. It was a tough first-round group. Agreed. Uh, very rare that all the names are that familiar when you're playing in a first-round group, but... It was good. It was a good challenge. It's a good uh, challenge for that format specifically because there's so many rounds. How many points did you end up with, J-Mac? At some point, I think we see Stressman and Q will go into an all-out war here. Sixteen second with two bounties. Yeah, that's an awesome first round. Congrats. Yeah, here's the all out war between Kuehl and Stressman. Just kind of a matter of time. <laughs> An intermediate across the entire map to fail a kill. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's why I uh, have my rank at expert. That's uh, that's my strategy. Oh, it looks like Tim's getting a couple kills in that England game. Uh, he's now in the lead in the group. Looks like he might be the English national champion. Fintops moves his stack out to get into a aggressive position. The weak link seems to be uh, Stressman here. The most troops is Arc TPVC, who's just been able to avoid all the conflict so far. I fed a kill on five cards with only 20 troops. She didn't take it? One to play out the long game, right, Riedel? 
Yeah, you never know. I mean, I was actually appreciative in my round one lobby that we had a bunch of good players. Um, I, in general, would prefer to play that kind of game, but um, you never know what you're going to get in one of these tournaments. Totally different playing styles and strategies and lack thereof. Arc TPVC buries the 24 stack up in northern Sweden. We see a trade on four from Stressman. Then tops once again the bottom and troops with two cards here. Uh, we see the kill. We get an oops. He gets a good roll on the 16v13, right? Uh, 84%, but he kept 8 troops, which is wild. Um, yeah, Truth Powers jumping in at the end was also tough, right? Tough fill-in. He doesn't get the kill. It's a failed kill from Stressman. He feeds it to Kuehl, who is not who you want to feed a kill till to. He still had it, but he fortified wrong there? Is that what that was? He moved a 6 in? Because he attacked with that stack. I think the 6 stack he was trying just to break off 3. Would have had a low percentage roll on the other side. Kuehl should sweep this board easily now. He gets the kill of Fin Tops. He's still at 22%, so he's still got enough room to kill uh, Arc TPVC, but he can't kill White, and he doesn't have enough troops to kill Arc TPVC, so he's just got to take the 70. So Kuehl gets the kill. Of Fin Tops. And then those 70 run... Goes to 15 points, moves to the top of the leaderboard. Gets a nice feed there. You don't want to feed Kuehl. If you're going to feed anybody, don't feed the best player in the group, right? Or maybe feed the best player in the group. Just lowers your chances of uh, winning the championship. He lost a troop from his own mistake, forgot to split. Okay, so a few different mistakes. It was still a close kill no matter what, right? Even if everything went super smoothly. So we'll get set up here for game two. Make sure no one's fighting or anything. Someone's setting up the next game. Cool, cool. Did England finish? Not quite finished. Looks like Tim's got the group uh, one though, right? Risky gets the last win. Okay, so your team one for England is gonna be Tim, Risky Cam, and Blazin. That's an awesome team. Team two will be Bertram, the Boar, Zykron, and Chegg, and the national champion for England. Congrats to Tim on winning the English national championship. That's awesome. The Croatia game should be going on. Is it? Do you guys know? On Johan's uh, stream. I don't see it, but. Okay, so here we go. This is a 70% fixed in Africa four player game now. Kuehl with 15 points uh, probably has guaranteed his spot on the Finnish national team, which we would have all expected. Although he got a little bit of a. An easy path there with the, the failed kill handed to him.
Okay, so this uh, map, all about the structure of the bottom of the map, who gets what. Um, Arc TPVC in a very good spawn for the bottom of the map. Starts working on a potential bonus in East Africa. Abandons the Central Africa position to some degree. Once Fen tops to move out of there. And only lets him move out up, which is a pretty smart move. Let's see what Kuehl does. Kuehl would like that West Africa bonus. That's just a plus three, and he's got seven troops to get out of there first. We'll see how that East Africa position gets fixed up. Uh, Fintops doesn't add to Madagascar. I think that might have been a mistake. He's going to want that position. Hey, thanks for the cheer, J Mac. Appreciate you. Is this just because you feel bad that you dominated me last night in the Kill Pete Open? Ark would have liked Finn Tops to move out of the horn there and decided not to. Check you later, J Mac. See ya. I don't think he rolls the six here. But I don't think he. Uh. Likes it sitting there. Uh, so here's what I've been told, Trunk. Stressman is a player that plays... And that was terrible analysis. Stressman uh, plays and I think has played in some tournaments. Um, as I understand it, Arc TPVC and Fin Tops are only connected to Risk uh, through um, Kuehl trying to get people to play. So um, I think they're new to the tournament scene, as I understand it. Okay, everyone giving the thumbs up here. Very happy about what just happened. Yeah, this is just basically a group that Kuehl's been trying to get into Risk so that there are Finnish people playing Risk, which is a big goal of this event, right? Exactly. That was a, that was his big goal, was to get an actual Finnish national team. So, And it looks like he'll get to play on the team, so that's even better. Okay, so Arc TPVC is going to take the Horn of Africa bonus. Uh, we see Stressman in that Southern Africa bonus. Kill keeps his 7 down low, and Fintop's got to keep a 4 down low. He may not have played many. Yeah, that's possible. I guess the other two aren't on the uh, Sabre rankings either. 
Uh, yeah, so Stressman's got the plus three down at the bottom. That's a plus four in the Horn of Africa for our TPVC. And now Kewl takes the plus three in West Africa. It looks like Fintops is going for that all-important North Africa bonus. He does take the plus five North Africa Fintops does. So everyone's got a bonus. Central Africa is all split up. So we're not seeing a big block happen on this map. The center of the map is very open for a potential 70 run at some point. Again, like Trunk said earlier, a lot less likely we see a bounty taken on this map just because they're not worth it in a fixed game here with uh, four players. I think we see Kuehl move up that 7 into a more strategic center position here soon. Kill decides instead to break Stressman and moves around the bottom of the map, uh, leaving that possible move here from Fintops to get the kill. Yeah, so we see Fintops get the kill. So Fintops gets five points, moves into second on the leaderboard. We get an oops from Fintops. Ah, we see Arc TPVC go, uh, at Kuehl's bonus here and maybe go to 70 run he can go up with the two he can't get enough of the bottom I don't think here can he win a four on two and a two oh he need the four on two first oh no he gets it well played by Ark TPVC, that was a very impressive 70 run. That was not an easy one uh, to figure out. Ran a great run there uh, from Arc TPVC. 
uh, gets the 10 points for the win in game two. And now our scoreboard has Kula at the top with 15, guaranteed a spot on the Finnish national team, Arc TPVC with 10, Finn Tops with 5, Stressman with 0. He got some good dice too, but that was a that was an impressive run uh, with some challenging little pieces at the end. You can see according to that, Arc TPVC's uh, rank is a beginner on FFA. But uh, that seemed like a above beginner move, I would say there. So we'll get set up for game three. Fintop said he forgot it was a 70%, said he could have won there. So, I don't know. It was close. So we're going to game three. Remember, the top three will make Finland's national team for the Risk World Cup. Uh, our draw is Saturday at 1500 UTC to see which nations Finland will be up against. Um, and the top score here will be the Finland national champion for 2023. You think so, Red Apple? The first game, it felt more like they were hitting each other because they were hitting each other. That game, it looked like more of a kill feed on it. Oh, that's what Kuehl said in the stream? Okay, well. There you go. Let's see if Stressman can uh, find a way to cause problems here. Yeah, exactly. A kill of black would get it for white. That's what he should be playing for, for sure. Yep. Um, Hold on, let me make... Yeah, 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 yeah. That should be right. Then Tops has a kill on him, so they would have equal bounties on each other. They would have the same number of bounties overall. Um, So yeah, it would come down to game three points. So yeah. I believe that's right. Okay, so Q gets a decent spawn for maybe a South America play. We'll see if they go bonuses. See, Q could have rolled that three with a 100% roll, decided not to do it, not to for, uh, add that way. So, interesting. Kill would like South America. White gets out of the way there and moves the stack into Australia. It's possible red doesn't make it if white wins and black gets about him. I think you're right. I think if white wins and black gets the bounty on him, uh, he would not go through. That's correct.
Okay, so we see Kiel take South America. Let's see how he guards. Could move the three from Madagascar up to Mexico. He does. Ah, we immediately see Arc TPVC take Africa from that move. Splits there as a guard with Kuehl. Kuehl says you don't need to guard there. Gives him a fist bump. We'll see how that happens. Arc TPVC moves some troops out of Europe. Can Stressman get Australia? Or Oceania on this map? They're playing a World Dawn progressive here. I think Stressman goes ahead and takes Australia here. He's going to get a 7v2. He can guard it okay. Fortifies the two up. Gets a good roll. Fortifies the two over. So that leaves only Fin Tops without the bonus. Fin Tops had a similar situation in their first game where he didn't get the bonus till late. But I don't see a real play at a bonus here. This is just purely because Fintops knows that Stressman is at zero. He's at five. The worst case scenario for him is Stressman uh, getting a bounty in this game. Moves the nine up maybe accidentally there. I don't think Kewl has the kill. I do feel bad for Stressman for sure on this. Maybe Kewl lining up for next turn to get the kill, maybe. Oops from black. Should me go with the early trade? Yeah, he does. He goes with the six trade there. Just 
going to hit some of black potentially. We get a thumbs up there from Fin Tops. Egging on Kuehl, maybe? No way, Kuehl's giving up that Ukraine position. Kuehl just gets an easy take in Australia. White pulls Fintops out of North America because you can tell he's getting targeted. But Fintops finds a way back in. Gets a good roll. Fintops is going to get the kill. Three on one. Loses the three on one. Does not get the points for the kill. Interesting. Feeds it to Kuehl. Kuehl gets another kill fed to him in this one. Has not had the toughest time... Uh, in this match, so Kill getting some good fortune on his side. He'll get both kills here. And likely sweep the whole map here. So that's the kill of Stressman from Kill. Kill should easily be able to clean up. Uh, fin tops here, get the trade in turn. Then he'll use the uh, trade here to hit Arc TPVC as much as he can. But we do know our three player uh, Finland national team now. We don't quite know our national champion yet, but we think we know. Technically, our TPVC could get back into it. Kill's just going to hit him as hard as he can. Make sure he breaks all his bonuses. Thank you for the raid, Hot Buns. Hope everyone had a good time in that uh, English final. Heard it went well for you there, Risky Cam. We're finishing up the Finland final here now. Can't believe there's an actual hot buns emoji. That's wild. 
Like literal hot buns. That's funny. Okay, so we're seeing kind of a final here between uh, RTB, TPVC, and Kuehl fighting for the Finland National Championship. Smart. Agreed. Yeah, as long as Kuehl has a set on four, he wins. Uh, but RTPVC doing the best that he can uh, to make it tough on him. Becky made it. Oh my gosh. Must have been a big deal. When Becky shows up, you know you got a big event going on. Kewel does get the trade. Um, it's one of the best players in the world. We expect him to clean up this board no problem here. Let's see how cleanly he can do it. He doesn't have enough to win on this turn, but... Uh... Red having a set on three would be interesting. He leaves the two on one to give himself a shot. He's going to two on one to Hawaii. No, he's going to two on one in from Japan. I don't think it's GG here. Although he's done it about as well as you can. He's got a two on one for the win. For the Finnish national championship, a two on one from Q loses. Do we have cards on three for Mark TV PC? No cards on three. Okay. That would have been fun if that set happened, right? Would have got real exciting. So Kuehl's going to get the final kill here of Arc TPVC and the win. Congrats to everybody. We know our Finnish national team. That'll be Kuehl, Arc TPVC, and Fintops. Stressman will be their alternate. We'll see if we can get anyone in here in post game to chat. See if we got anybody in here. I'm sure the uh, chat at the end of the English final was entertaining, right? What's up, Kewl? Hi. Uh, doing well. <laughs> uh, so did you work out getting all those kills fed to you like that? Was that the plan? No, no. Not so. <laughs> you got a feed in game one. Correct. Uh, I... Think on so. the on the miss kill from then Stressman, top. the first one. A stressman, okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then uh, got a nice failed kill there in in game two, or in game three. Um, in game three, sorry. Yeah, on, on Grim. Yeah, I got uh, like two kills, <laughs> but from that. But yeah, yeah. Always yeah. nice when it works out like that. Um, look like some pretty good play from the other players. Uh, I didn't. I think most of these are unknown to everybody besides uh, you. So look like yeah. look like they can play a little bit. Yeah, I mean we'll have to do some practice still, but <laughs> I I believe that we we have a good possibility to do well. Yeah. Um. As um, Fintops is my brother and Arc PVC is my best friend, so. Gotcha. Fintops is your brother. Gotcha. Yeah, he's my brother. Yeah. Nice. Well, that'll be fun. Uh, little group <laughs> dynamic there. Uh, RTVVC yeah. looked like he was playing pretty well, uh, pretty quickly through maps and stuff. So he has some risk ex experience. Yeah, I mean, I think he can also speak up. Oh, uh, he's now he can speak. Actually. Okay, now he's got yeah. on there. Oh yeah, hello. What's up, Arct PVC? Uh, feel pretty good about your uh, performance yeah. there. Yeah, I was I'm quite happy with how fast I was like attacking everything and you uh, attacked very stuff. well. I thought you had a great seventy run uh, in Africa there. That was a yeah, that was a challenging sure, yeah. close run that you had to figure out. I thought it looked good. Some luck might have been involved, but I'm not saying it. <laughs> sure. Yeah, you had some good dice also as part of that. But yeah, it was a it was well thought out. Kuehl, uh Risky Cam would like to know if you're confident that you guys can beat England, though. Yes. Confident you can beat England? 
Yeah, for okay. sure. Okay, just making sure. He was just <laughs> checking to see what you thought. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought that would be obvious, but I mean... That's yeah. obvious. Will you guys yeah. be communicating in Finnish during the tournament? Um, most likely Finglish, so... A combination oh, English. Of fin fin Finnish and English. That's funny. <laughs> I haven't heard that term. That's funny. <laughs> well, no, you did. What uh, what kind of practice do you think you guys should be doing, Kiel, to get ready? Um, we should, um, well, train them to um, do what I say. <laughs> as if Just follow, as follow your orders possible. at all times. <laughs> Most likely, but I mean, we should also try to listen to each other, and we should also try to plan all our turns like ahead and not during. Each yeah, think turn. through it. Yeah, yeah. Um, were were you expecting that Arc TV, PVC run uh, in Africa? Were you expecting him to go for that? I mean, as I said in my stream, I think. <laughs> He should have gone for it, but I was not sure if he would. Okay. And yeah, he he did go for it, and I am. It glad wasn't he did. easy. I mean, it was a tough run in a couple of different pockets. Yeah. For sure. Um, and then you got kind of in a war there with Stressman in game one, breaking each other, or you breaking him really. He he, he couldn't yeah. retaliate. He didn't much. break. Me at yeah. all. He could have if he wanted to, but he didn't want to like risk it out. But the last break I did because it was because. I wanted to prevent him from getting 70. Yeah. Or at least do something against that. But after all, he didn't even go for the 70. He went for the kill. I think he had the 70 a lot easier than the kill, actually. But in the yeah. kill, he I made mean, a couple of errors on. Uh, yeah, the yeah. Fortifier. He, he did. Yeah. Yeah. But, and I mean, if he had the four troops from Iceland, which I broke, then he would have gotten the kill most likely. So it was definitely. The right place to do the break do the break i think so at least gotcha gotcha um art tv vc are you uh worried about living up to cool standards in the world cup yep you are yep i am nervous that he's gonna blame you for <laughs> losing or something yeah if we lose i'm i'm, I'm really afraid if we lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that seems fair that seems fair. Yeah. Seems like he will, yeah, put tons of pressure on you guys, so that should be fun. Yeah. I mean, we'll do our best to like practice and do the best we can, but yeah, I mean, sometimes the best you can do is is your best and yeah. It's it's not always enough. Well, I mean, but... as long as you get 15 points in every game you play, Kuel, you should be able to carry the team, right? Right. So it's really like, your fault. Only play, but I can only play two matches, you know. Sure, but I mean it's really up to you to right. To, well, you'll if I it correctly. You'll play like, one game I'll, in each round. Okay, wait. What? Can you, I say again? You'll play one game in each round. Oh, so like the like three that? games we just played, each one of your teammates would have played one of those games. Oh, oh, oh so as I long as you get be... fifteen in your game, you're good. Should okay, get you guys okay. Through. In the top three teams. I didn't know that. Okay, that's that's interesting. Okay, well, I'm glad it got sorted out now and not later. Yeah, and it like, and it won't necessarily mm -hmm. be consecutive games. There'll be different game times. So you'll play the three games, but they won't oh. necessarily be back to back to back. Okay, 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 okay. Does that change okay. the way you're thinking about your team? No, 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 no. Okay, it does not. I mean, we can still talk with each other and so on. As I at least I, that's what I, how I understood you would be changing yeah. the rules also. In the game you would like to play in the most of those three each time, based off of like seventy prog, seventy fixed, or world dom prog. The game you would want to play. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure yet, but we'll have <laughs> some time to think about it. You got time to think about it. Uh, we've yeah. got the draw next Saturday, uh, so you'll see which mm -hmm. nation nations you're up against. Um, and then we'll play that next week. So, plenty of time. Yeah, so the first round is in two weeks? Yeah, basically two weeks. So uh, The seed seeding round. The seeding round will basically be two weeks from Wednesday is the, is the start of games. So, yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah, the draw Saturday. So, make sure you get your availability updated because uh, we'll put the schedule together right after the draw on Saturday. So. Yep. Sounds good to me. Cool. Anything else from you guys? 
No, I'm not uh, sure. And confident, just real quick, before, on the record, confident you'll beat Risky Cam's team if you guys match up in the World Cup. Yep. Confident. Of course. For sure. Okay, good. For sure. Yeah. I like the confidence. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Congrats. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, that is the end of the Finland qualifiers. I think that's our last uh, national qualifier match, except for Scotland, which maybe is sometime this week. I don't know when we're going to get that scheduled. Uh, but for the most part, we've got our 37 team set. I think we've got 36 of the 37 set now. Um, those will be updated on the website very shortly. If you go to riskworldcup.com, click info and teams, you can see all the different teams. Um, and we'll finish updating them from today's matches uh, here shortly. And you guys have a whole week off. So uh, get your availability updated if you made a national or regional team, please. Before that draw, uh, the draw is 617. So next Saturday, June 17th at 1500 UTC, we'll do the draw. Uh, we'll do a stream for it. We'll bring on some of the big names of RIS to talk about uh, their team's draw, how they feel about it, and all of that. Uh, should be a lot of fun. And make sure your availability is updated before that draw because immediately after that, we'll put together the schedule for the seeding round. Again, the seeding round will eliminate no one, uh, but the seven group winners in the seeding round will get a bye through the first elimination round. They won't have to play in the first elimination round. So a lot of value in winning your seeding round group, which we will draw at that World Cup draw. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching all of this wild World Cup action this weekend. It looks like Zeriki won the uh, Croatian final. Congrats to Zeriki. That's awesome. Um, and we will uh, call it good for now. Uh, we'll play a little bit this week. I don't know when my Kill Pete open game is, but it'll be sometime this week. Um, and then we'll do the draw 617 at 1500 UTC. Uh, that's it for now. I'm at Mitch on Risk, streaming live on Twitch, posting on YouTube. Check out riskworldcup.com to see all of the action, to watch the games. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. Until then, may your dice be nice. <laughs>